out right now about the hospital birth that you think that you have to have. Maybe you couldn't get a home birth. Maybe you couldn't get into a birth center. And maybe this is one of your only options. But you still don't want anybody to touch you. You're still freaking out about the fact that your doctor maybe says, well, we'll have to do a cervical check in on admission, or you're going to have to have the IV, or we're only going to do this thing, insert in episiotomy, Pitocin, whatever, if we feel it's necessary. This is really disempowering in a stance because you're thinking to yourself, I have to go into this situation and I have no power. So how do you turn this around? This is something I wish that someone had told me. It's something I had to learn as I was going through my actual experience in the hospital the first time. It's what I teach all my clients to do, okay? First of all, you need to recognize one thing. Even if you're a first time mom, your body knows how to birth, okay? Your body will do it. It doesn't actually need permission to push a baby out. You don't actually need anybody to tell you how dilated you are. You don't actually need anybody to tell you how far you're progressing. You don't actually need anybody to tell you what positions to get into. When you instinctively know how to follow your body, you're the one who gets to decide what interventions come in. But if you keep thinking that because you're going into the hospital system, that you automatically have to follow their checklists and their, and their timelines and everything else, that takes your power away. The second you stand in your power, that's when things shift. If you wanna know more, make sure that you're liking, sharing, following, subscribing to this channel. And if you're inclined to go deeper and you really wanna get the roadmap for how to get the birth you want without fighting, begging, and compromising, even in the hospital, then I invite you to check out my book, Your Empowered Birth, that's now available on Amazon. Okay, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.